royal expert Daniela Elsa claimed Eugenie was able to enjoy more freedom to share her happy news in her own way as she is further down the royal line of ascent compared to Harry and Meghan. She wrote in NZ Herald, the princess' decision to share an RT black and white shot of herself and her husband holding their new baby's hand has been met with barely a raised eyebrow. Imagine, just for a moment if, Meghan had the temerity to decide she had wanted to share the glorious news of one of her baby's arrival via social media. The reaction would have been breathtakingly aghast. The move presented as further proof of her, supposed, independently willful disregard for tradition. To be fair, there is a bit of an apples and oranges dynamic here too. Harry is the sixth in line to the throne and was, at the time of his son's arrival, a full-time working member of the royal family. Eugenie, by contrast, is the second child of the monarch's second son, and tenth in line to the throne and while she might very occasionally take part in official events she is not a card-carrying representative of the Queen. Which is to say, she enjoys a certain latitude that Harry and his brother William, and both their wives, will ever be afforded. There are two key takeaways here firstly and most obviously, that Eugenie is getting the sort of free pass that Harry and Meghan could only dream about and does not come down to hypocrisy but the unassailable fact that to be part of the royal family is to accept that there is no such thing as a level playing field. It's only been two and a half days, three days, Prince Harry said but we're just so thrilled to have our own little bundle of joy. The Duchess of Sussex also gave birth to her son Archie at the same exclusive Portland hospital as Eugenie. But Meghan's trip to the hospital to give birth was kept so secret that Buckingham Palace issued a first notice Meghan had gone into labour hours after she had given birth. <laughs>